Hello, and welcome back to iClone Certified Training. I am your host, ICT4. This tutorial focuses on image layer editing, multiple image layers. Utilizing multiple image layers inside of iClone can create many different effects for your scenes. In this example, you can see that I have built an aquarium utilizing image layers, when in fact, if you begin to pull the image layers away and move them inside the viewport, you can see that the only 3D asset in the scene is actually the actor itself and nothing else. In this tutorial, you're going to utilize what you've learned in part one and then see how multiple image layers are used. In part one, of image layer editing inside of iClone, users learn how to create and edit both the properties and scale and proportion of image layers in scenes inside of iClone. Now you're ready to move on to multiple image layers inside of a scene. I'm now going to go to my custom image layer tab where I have saved three custom image layers as you can see, I'm going to add those into the scene by double clicking on each one of them and in the scene manager they will be labeled by numbers as they are brought into the scene. Since no two image layers can ever exist on the same layer, the image layer portion of the modify panel, you will find that there are four options to choose from. If you are selecting an image layer on the top or the bottom of your stack, you will only have the move backward or move to bottom buttons to choose from. However, if you choose any image layer in the middle of your stack, you will then see that the four options in the modify panel will become active and available to you, allowing you to choose which image layers you want to move to the top or move to the bottom. Since we want our weather report image layer at the top, I'm going to select that in the scene manager and simply select the move to top option. As you can see it will now be viewed in the lower left hand corner during the entire project. I now want to move back to the beginning of my scene and begin creating some edits for each individual layer. I want all of these layers to fade in at a different time. So what I want to do first is select layer 0 because it will be the first layer that I will want to fade in and interact into the project. I'm going to select the master opacity slider and simply set that to zero. I'm then going to move it forward into the second position in the scene manager. I'm now going to adjust each master opacity slider for the remaining two image layers, fading them all the way to black. Select layer zero once again in the scene manager and Use hotkey F3 to open the timeline, which I have docked to the bottom portion of my user interface. With image layer 0 active on my timeline, I'm going to scroll forward in time and then select the add key button right in the middle of the two transform keys on the original and top image layer, and then scroll forward, close my timeline, select the master opacity slider, and slide it forward to create a fade in for my forecast layer. I'm now ready to begin adding some video image layers as well. Return to the beginning of your scene and click play to view the fade in and scale and proportion keyframes you have created using image layer editing techniques. Now feel free to move on to the next tutorial in this series, part 3, video image layer creation where you will learn how to create video image layers using video diffuse maps and video opacity maps. And for more iClone tips and tutorials, be sure to visit www.reallusion.com.